Sup, home skillets. I am Smooth Singer 422, and welcome back to Let's Play. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. <laughs> what? Wait. Um, Life is Strange. Man, oh, that was. <laughs> I thought you were doing something else. I didn't know you couldn't remember the name of the game. <laughs> I do it every single time. I don't know why I do this. Like, like I'm staring right at the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, yes, I am joined once again with Boydie Quibbings 217. Kate needs her book back, and I better not screw and her over like she thinks I did yesterday. We are going to return Kate's book back to her right this very second. And hopefully get some justice for our wall, because that was ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's not the one we want to go to. Isn't it the one to the left of her room? <gasps> oh, I can't believe he was able to walk in though, that's crazy. Yeah, okay, first of all, are like, are guys and girls able to go in and out of each other's dorms? I didn't think they could, that's why I'm confused. And Maybe. then the fact she left her door open is like, wow. Hmm, maybe he has a proxy. Maybe he sent someone to do that. Mm-hmm. Like Victoria? Possibly. I actually oh, don't shit. remember that. I was just No, I'm getting out. anonymous threats. It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. Yeah, I think Kate's room is I better um, be doubly careful to the left of Victoria, here, so like right here. I could be in serious danger. Yeah. And you're so I'm good with already. directions. I should know this. <gasps> Oh my hey, god! I just saw the thing. Yes, okay. Maybe we can fix that? You so want to fix it after we leave? Yeah. If we can, sorry. We have a violin. <laughs> Kate used to play the violin every morning. Aww. She stopped last week. Thanks to you. Stop. <laughs> I don't feel bad enough already. Let's just, uh, talk to this guy. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything oh, when David on. harassed me yesterday? Tell her that I wanted proof. Get off my case. I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um... Why? Why does he think that? Yeah. Why does he think that? Oh, she I just saw the video. Exactly Do you said. know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have Aww. no memory of it. They probably drugged her. Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. So that's not enough to get wasted, yeah. You would think. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. Mm-hmm. I remember getting sick. And dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the oh, hospital. Oh no. <sighs> Nathan. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. No. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. 
I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Ooh. Oh and, no. And Wow. And and that's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. Oh no. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. You're scared. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Poor girl. It's, it's so creepy. Okay. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Hmm. Should I go to the police? Uh. Oh. <laughs> I think you definitely need proof before you go to the cops. You sure? Ugh, I wish she could just go right now, but... If she goes without any proof, then it's gonna be the same crap that happened when we told the principal. Hmm. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. Ugh, you make me feel so sucks. hopeless. No, I didn't mean no, it that Kate. way. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Congrats. Uh, every time I try to help her, things just go wrong. Congratulations. Good job, Dr. Max. This sucks. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to even see the other option. Really? I'm sticking to my guns, but I'm not happy about it. Well, okay. Well. <laughs> Why is it always so complicated with her? Ouch. She left out amnation. Oh. Oh, dear. Jesus, they're one oh. of those old-fashioned Bible-thumping. Jeez. <sighs> so old-fashioned. E really? Nobody e says harlot or Jezebel anymore. Eternal hellfire. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> uh, it reminds me of uh, that guy from uh, Hunchback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking weirdo. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I'm sorry. That's one of my favorite Disney songs, actually. Yeah, yeah, me too. Alright, did you want to look around or did you want... Let's, let's go, I don't want to be too nosy. Oh, we gotta clean that board outside her room. Got it. Cloth. Oh, maybe we can use that? Why did she cover up the mirror? Oh, never mind. She can't look at herself? That's so sad. Erase. Again with your hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now what? Wrong button. Chloe. We didn't already look at this? Hmm. They said I got a new message. Okay, maybe I did it. Okay. Alright, where are we rolling to? We getting the heck out to go to breakfast? I guess. Or maybe not. Or maybe it's this way. <laughs> yeah, it's this way. 
That's right. You run, girl, run. I know, right? I'm glad they have this option. I could run. <laughs> <coughs> what time are we at? Okay. Oh, yeah. We're barely, like, at five minutes. Oh. Okay. Did you want to talk to him, or did you want to roll? I guess we could talk to him if we have an option. He looks much older. Hello. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. All right, bye. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Snow White with the whole animal thing. Oh yeah, I know, right? Did you did you want to talk to him later, or did you want to engage in conversation? We could talk about the animals. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. What? Nothing weird there hmm. except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal really? is a squirrel. A rat with fur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could talk later. Got it. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Meowdy? Yep. Did you want to talk to her or did you want to roll? Let's just, uh, go to school. Oh no. Okay. Oh hell no! Your son is a piece of crap. I ain't gonna let you guys get away with this. Well. <laughs> I'm so pissed. You weren't crying to daddy. What's that? I don't know. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord. Nathan's family no owns that dorm? They're rich. That Max, come on yeah. over here. Oh, it's Warren. Hey, boo. Warren, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, mm -hmm. she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <laughs> Just a pirate. Yeah, right. I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's Chloe. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Because he is a psycho. Um... Ooh, I'm tempted to tell him, but I don't know if I should protect him. Hmm... Uh... <laughs> I feel like saying don't get involved is kind of rude, though. Wow, you're so polite. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't trust the way... Sometimes with these games, like, you choose an option and then they end up saying it in a really rude way. It's like, what uh, the hell? It comes back like, to bite you. Yeah, like what happened with Kate earlier. I was like, come on now. <laughs> um, just, I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. Oh no, you told him too much. I'll give you the story later. <laughs> Principal Wells is taking Your care of it now, I hope. Hilarious. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Oh, a Let's dick. go ape! Mm -hmm. Let's go ape. No. 
<laughs> but you have to invite him to that party, so... Hmm... Yes? Just say yes. Si. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Okay. Alright. Lots of butterflies there. You wanna go In her that? stomach. Oh. oh no, let's get the heck out of here. What do you have against romance? Don't be hating on them. They're cute. He's so thirsty. <laughs> hmm. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Oh. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Frickin' David and Nathan, the two villains of the game. The school bus. Yeah, I'm She's confused. already at school. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, here comes the hippie music again. Not that I have anything wrong with hippie music. Mm -hmm. It just reminds me of a coffee shop, I guess. In medicinal. <laughs> you only said coffee shop because I said it last time. You're right, actually. It only reminds me of really medicinal. <laughs> I'm sure not all hipsters and hippies like, um... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna lie right there. Cash <laughs> on I thought she was going to class. I'm so confused. No, she's going to breakfast. She takes the school bus to go to breakfast? Uh, I think she's meeting uh, the girl, uh, Chloe, for breakfast. But why is the school bus taking... I'm so confused. That's Wait. not normal. So... I don't think... So... I'm trying to think. So you think? So are you saying that she should have like breakfast at the school? Well, either that or take like a like a public bus, not a school bus. Maybe it's a shuttle to and from wherever. I guess. Never seen a school bus used for that, but okay. Man, you're asking the hard hitting questions. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> it's all the details that bother me. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the oh, same. Okay. Did you want to talk to anyone or did you just want to head to the diner? I don't want to talk to strangers. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get kidnapped. Did you want to talk to them or did you want to... Where this guy? Oh, and this is the RV by the way. Oh. Well, you can just leave it be then. Don't interact with it? No. Okay. Let's touch that dusty old oh, thing. Oh man, if this is what I think it is, it's man, a freaking puzzle. Man, that smell puzzle. of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel thirsty. Mom will feed you. Again. I guess her mom works there. Can I, like. Can I. How do I. How do I interact with her? How do you get food? Do you sit at one of the booths? Oh, good call. I think that's exactly what you do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, thought you wanted you... to sit next to all those guys? No, I was gonna- I thought I could just talk to her from over- from the counter. Mm 
Yes, as and the one who played is. this game before. I, I know, I failed. That was a huge fail. How are you doing, Max? <laughs> Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still <laughs> smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. Ugh. Oh, come I heard on. the whole sordid <laughs> story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter no, what. He Chloe ain't says. a good man, honey. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Mm -hmm. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Hmm. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. He's an a-hole. <laughs> I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Hmm. <laughs> Decisions, hmm. decisions. <laughs> Man, you're David struggling, huh? Scared me. I should warn her. Yeah. Yeah. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe, like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about yeah, her, right. along with all the students at Blackwell. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to be that rude to her. Yeah. But... Decisions, decisions. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> This is fantastic. I love watching you have the internal struggles. Oh. I feel like if we tell her about the whole cake thing, she's just going to be all defensive and not listen. Mm. Interesting. But if I just play along, then maybe I'm avoiding getting the help of an adult in this situation. Hmm. Do you think she's on the up and up to react accordingly if you tell her? Like, do you think she'll actually do something unlike the principal? Or do you think she's going to be typical adult and not believe and be defensive? Yeah, that's what I'm concerned. I really do think she's gonna, not going to listen. Alright, so I get it. I get it. Interesting. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. Not gonna happen. I just I'm gonna get rid of this guy somehow. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's time. Somehow. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you do want I get to, to eat? choose what to eat? Yes. <laughs> this, uh, this is obviously the best decision of the game. I want that bacon omelet. Belgian waffle it is. No. <laughs> I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Uh, now finish uh, your coffee. Salty, you I know, I know you would have. I should have done it. 
<laughs> I would have been like, how could you? That's the most important choice. What if you had well, everybody killed just for that? Staff. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation Nothing of wrong breakfast. wrong with bacon. Aw, oh, man, now I want bacon. <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing? Okay, jukebox time. Can I get okay. some beer and bacon before I die? This is a dime, beer and bacon. not a bar. <laughs> no beer? No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Sir, please. Oh, take a drink. Black Order. coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. What, what kind of dive is this? Oh no. It's not a dive. <laughs> Sir, come on Incoming. now. Graffiti? Sorry, I'm trying to look at it, but the camera is just not I my friend. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Oh, okay. Here. You'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't <sighs> believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh... mm, Speak of the devil. <laughs> she Mom knows that dude. Together again. <laughs> and Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectured. Wait, she's 18? Call him David really? if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Hmm. Hey man, the, the other guy Gotta already chose that song. Way. I'm sure he's pissed. Let's talk about your yeah. superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. <laughs> we got weed, okay, lighter. Max. Impress me. Her phone. Uh... I'm gonna say keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Good luck. <laughs> what? How I? I can't even read the other option, but. Oh, which one? The the one on the right. Bullet keychain. Hmm. I'm gonna say the bullet one. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, <laughs> psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, it's a little blurry for me, but you can rewind you and get that right, right? Line, so Chloe believes you. Well, there it is. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Is that like a panda? Yes. Aww. Cigarettes. Of course. Thought it was weed, but okay. Cigarettes is fine. <laughs> Change. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I remember or not, but I think you might have to memorize the exact amount of change. Uh, okay, that's, uh, 80... 80. Wait, because that's a nickel. So 75 plus a nickel is 80. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 86. Yep. Oh, a ticket. 
Let's see. Fix this up. Out of hiking. Okay. That's it. All right. Let's do this. What now? You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. <laughs> Gonna blow your mind, girl. <laughs> How often have you said that? <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to know. Me telling you <laughs> what's what inside the... your <laughs> Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Ah, oh, damn. I didn't count. Did, I, I looked, actually. I did count. Did you want me to get the right answer for you? Did you? Sure. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> <laughs> seven cigarettes. I thought it was seven. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, it was the... Wow, I cannot read that. What's the right one? Money. Okay, um, let's do the parking ticket one. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact uh -oh. time I was busted? I Ten... actually... Something. 10.30... Yeah, 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is oh, right twice on. a day. Whatever the hell that means. Okay, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You have 84... Or 86 cents, that's right. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. All right, the key. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You have panda. Cute. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. She's freaked out. Baseballs. Yeah. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Come on, my keychain's not crap. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I was gonna sing this song, but I changed my mind. I'm glad I did. <laughs> I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, the mom is Oops. walking over. Did you break oh, another cup? Still? Really? Oh, no. no refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're you trying to dine and dance? Slap me, bitch. Take your uh -oh. fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. How long do we have to watch? That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox uh, is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Okay. Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Yep. I feel like we're abusing our power, but okay. <laughs> I know. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, someone... Oh, I don't even... Was it the trucker who dropped his mug? That's what you want to do? I think that's the one. I heard somebody drop something. I'm pretty sure you're right. Oh. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh, um, I can't read that. I think... Something about his partner? And his partner leaves, and he answers, and he eats a donut, alert on cops radio, and he leaves. 
I think... Man. I don't remember the donut. I remember the cop and then his partner. Something about, where's my partner? I don't think the cop leaves. I think... He answers? I'm trying to remember myself. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Oh, crud. I don't know if that was right. Uh, there's a chapter in choice. Uh, Joyce stops them. Yes, I think that's right. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. <coughs> yeah, the cop one is the only one I'm kind of not That's what I'm clear. iffy about, too. Uh, uh, something about the jukebox plays a song that she likes. I think I think it's the top one for sure. I'm pretty I sure. I trust it's... you. I, I I can't really see that well sometimes. So. Got it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if uh, everything happens. That cop happens, one's like gonna be said. the death of us. Oh really? Um, Maybe it was about his partner leaving then. I think I I could be wrong. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cop? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think hey, where's my partner? Bitch. Take your fight yeah. club outside. Yeah. He started we it. We done goofed. I'm finishing it. That is wild. That's the one we messed up on. Um, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, that's the roach. I wouldn't Fucking want to eat there after seeing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, trust me, I've seen some disgusting things at uh, at the D, and trust me. So what are you waiting for? I have now to... I should rewind and tell Chloe everything yeah, that just yeah. happened. So we have to redo it. Unfortunately. Okay. So we were right about all of them except for the the partner. I'm so sorry. I'm going to predict. Yes, it's yes, cool. yes. Okay, uh, the trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and... Yes, yes, yes. So, what happens next? Uh... So his partner leaves. Yes. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just yep, see if... that's right. Uh, well, Joyce stops them. Yeah. Justin and Trevor. Are... Why would she it's encourage them? <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense. Uh, the cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy. Okay. Pretty bizarre. This is it, cause we got a new cutscene. Yeah, it's a different angle. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, where really? You go, Mom? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this nice. isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! <laughs> the best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! <laughs> like it never happened! Grow up. Oh my god. Did you, you see that? On me and I would never know. Not really, but yes, I know she's that's what I did. really getting a little too extra. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Uh -oh. oh, that's hey, from using the okay? power too much. Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to uh -oh. one of my secret uh -oh. lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl. Don't you have school? Show me the way to Chloe's Maybe game. it's the weekend. Maybe. Or maybe they ditched. Okay, are we at Chloe the time that we can me. stop? Yes, I, I think so, kind of finally. I wonder what kind of shit she has in mind now. <laughs> finally. I just don't want to go too far. 
Oh no, it's fine. Yes, we could definitely stop here. Uh, I think, I think that uh, is this. It's fine. If not, I could just redo when we come back. I think yeah, I could just. That's nothing crazy to redo. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Huh. It'll be fine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you for recording with me. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. It's always fun. You don't have to thank me. Trust me. I I appreciate you. In the next episode, I think we're going to head to uh, Chloe's quote-unquote bat cave lair. And she's going to make us do some stupid stuff with our powers. Because she's immature. And that's how she is. <laughs> And apparently we can't say no to her, so... All I right. know, right? Like, we could never say no to her. Like, why can't we just... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. I guess that's it, y'all. I hope y'all have a great day slash night. And adios on skillets. Bye-bye.